What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel! Hey y'all, so in today's video, this is not going to be the normal, you know, I don't know. I do a lot of different type of videos, but I have to get surgery tomorrow morning once again and i am annoyed if you are new to my channel you guys i just got surgery um on my throat in may hopefully i explain this very well um i have been having problems with my throat since 2018 um i got a surgery emergency surgery um to get an abscess removed in my throat because it was closing my airway um, which was in 2017 or 2018 when I was in high school. Ever since then, I have been having problems with my throat as far as like pain, swallowing, um, very like uncomfortable. If I turn my neck sometimes, like it will hurt. Um, and that happened on and off for years. And then I ended up um, having like tonsil stones and things like that. Um, tonsillitis strep all the things that you could think of that will literally cause pain to your throat i've had it all i've dealt with it all and um i thought in may it was going to be my last time getting surgery for the second time on my throat because they requested me to remove my tonsils i got my tonsils removed <clears throat> the recovery was about 14 days um i took it very well it wasn't too bad for me because once again I've dealt with a lot of pain so like the pain that I experienced really didn't even like live up to the pain that I had to deal with throughout the years like that surgery was a piece of cake to me um, and if you know you know people say like your tonsils is a very tough surgery y'all for me I dealt with that pain for so long that the surgery wasn't that bad to me at all like the recovery wasn't bad so i'm thinking me and my parents my mom everybody's thinking you know okay this is going to be the last time um because once again the doctors think that it's my tonsils okay so um i want to say about the month of november because it was close to thanksgiving um about two weeks before thanksgiving i was experiencing throat pain and I was like, okay, I'm not going to think the worst because, you know, my tonsils is out. So I'm like, maybe I'm just feeling a little sick. Y'all, that throat pain never stopped up until like last week. So from November to January to like January, we'll throw a number like 17th because it's the 23rd today. It it I had consistent pain and like it wouldn't be bad every single day but it would be like little symptoms of things so this time y'all what i was experiencing that was causing me pain was a super dry mouth like my mouth was so dry to the point where i could feel like the taste buds on my tongue like every single bump of taste buds i could feel on my tongue um when i would wake up i would literally be waking up spitting up like mucus and it would be very painful discomforting and like my nose would feel very very stuffy but nothing would come out of it um of course like having trouble swallowing i was literally rarely sleeping um having a fever y'all i feel like kind of covid symptoms if i'm being for real it was like um i will be super duper like my body's hot but i'm cold i'm sweating um i was like waking up in the middle of the night crying having my friend at school lord take care of me she helped me tremendously um and while i was home of course i had um just went home for christmas break because it's currently only this it it's currently only january 23rd but i just went back to school maybe two weeks ago um and while i was here while i was home i went to an ent specialist um and he requested me to have surgery once again and i know that the doctors normally their first result isn't surgery if you know, you know, they're, the last thing they want to do on you is surgery. When it came to my tonsils, y'all, I had to wait years for them to finally remove them. So I know that surgery was not just like, okay, like, let's just put her in surgery. It was like, this is the best option for you. And, um, yeah, I went to the ENT doctor. He literally 
it kind of was like a COVID test, but he stuck a camera down my nose and hooked it over to like my throat. It went all the way up. I don't know how to explain it, but it went all the way up and curved. I can literally feel it inside of me. That was weird. My bag just dropped out of nowhere. Um, I can literally feel like it inside of me and I was just like taking deep breaths as he was doing it because it was a little painful. Um, but when he looked back there, he literally was like, oh. So of course I couldn't say anything while I was getting it done. But I was like, what, what, what the fuck do you mean, oh? Why are you saying, oh, like that? Why there's a camera down my, my, my throat, down my nose? So he explained to me as he took it out, um, he realized that my adenoids were tremendously big and inflamed and that they were draining. So I'm like, what the hell is my adenoids? I've heard of them. I've also requested when I got my tonsils out, should I get my adenoids removed? Because that's just like what I researched, what I seen. Most people who um, were getting their tonsils also were getting their adenoids out. So I've inquired about it, but I had no idea what they were, where they are at in my throat, um, and what they do. So when he said my adenoids need removed, I was just like, what? But I kind of figured, because once again, if y'all like me, when y'all get sick or something like that, I be Googling all my symptoms. What is this? So, yeah, so now I am currently here, y'all. Um, my surgery is tomorrow at 1245. Um, and I have to be there at 11, 11 a.m. in the morning. And I just wanted to catch you guys up on what I've been doing because I haven't put out a video in a week and I've been doing well. So it's just been me trying to hurry up and get all my schoolwork done, get caught up on next week because I don't know how painful or like how tired I'll be um, starting tomorrow. So what I tried to do all last week was get my work done ahead of time and try my best to make sure everything was set in stone for me to have a speedy recovery so I couldn't post and I couldn't record videos and stuff like that because I was dealing with so much. Um, trying to get all my professors on one accord, get off work again, because once again, y'all, I was just off work for two weeks, and I was just off school for two weeks. So now, having to come right back into another semester and just get back to work to then have to leave was a little bit annoying and, like, bumming for me, because for one, your girl haven't been working. I don't like that. And then for two, of course, I am really a student first. I take school very seriously, so... That's that, but we're going to hope for the best. Keep me in your prayers. Hopefully that this is the last surgery that I ever have to get, period, in Jesus' name. Um, but at least on my throat. I am very, very, very much sick of it. Um, and I just want all of this to go away because it has been a long, long, long process. And um, the pain without the surgery is a lot. The pains that I experience when my throat is inflamed and draining and dry and all the extra stuff, y'all, that be a lot for me and it kind of ruins my days. I be trying to like fight through it, but it be tough. Um, for some reason, when you're dealing with throat problems, your whole body seems to like be affected. So that is what I'm currently dealing with now. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a heads up on what's going on and things like that. So we're going to close the video out because it wasn't too much to be um, done. But I do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Make sure you are praying for me. Um, and we're going to hope for the best with this surgery. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I ain't playing with y'all. We're going to roll to 2000 and we're going to get there very soon. But I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.